We all love spoiling our cats with tasty treats, engaging in playful antics, and sharing cozy cuddle sessions. But here's the twist. All of that might not matter as much as we think if we miss out on understanding one key principle of cat bonding. So what is it? According to many animal behaviorists, cats tend to bond more with places than with people. Ever heard those tales of cats trekking across cities to return to their old homes? Yep, that's their territorial instinct at play. But this doesn't mean cats can't bond with their human companions. Cats can be incredibly affectionate and loving creatures. We just have to use this location knowledge into consideration to build a truly lasting relationship with our kitties. So, how can you do this? Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline loving community. Space. Did you know that your cat sees your home very differently than you do? To them, it's not just a place to sleep and eat. It's a kingdom to be explored, claimed and cherished. Cats have this fascinating need for their own space, a place where they feel safe and in control. First off, cats love to climb and observe their domain from high places. It's not just for fun, it's a survival instinct. By providing various cozy spots and high perches, you're speaking their language. Imagine your home as a cat's adventure park. Those high shelves and bookcases? Prime real estate for a cat looking to survey their kingdom. But it's not all about the heights. Cats also need their own hideaways. Places they can retreat to when the world feels a bit too much. It could be a simple cardboard box or an elaborate cat cave. The point is, it's theirs. It's where they can enjoy some quiet time away from the hustle and bustle of daily life. Scratching posts are another must-have, and not just one, but several, made of different materials and strategically placed around your home. Yes, scratching allows them to maintain their claws, but also, and this is perhaps the most important, mark their territory. In fact, this is so important to cats that in multi-cat households, cats often establish time-sharing schedules to avoid each other. It's their way of maintaining peace and order in the home. Scent Scent plays a much bigger role in a cat's world than most of us realize. It's like their social media, where they get all the updates on who's been where and who's new in the neighborhood. Cats have this incredible organ called the Jacobson's organ located on the roof of their mouth. This allows them to detect pheromones and other chemical compounds that we humans can't even begin to perceive. It's how they communicate, find mates, and establish territory. So, when your cat seems to be making a funny face after sniffing something, they're actually processing a lot of complex information. One way to strengthen your bond with your cat through scent is by mixing your scents together. You can do this by gently petting them or by using a soft cloth to rub down your cat and then yourself. This exchange helps your cat to associate your scent with comfort and safety, essentially marking you as part of their in-group. Cats also have scent glands on their cheeks, forehead and paws. When they rub against you or your furniture, they're not just seeking affection, they're claiming you as their own. Encouraging this behavior by offering your hand for them to rub against or gently stroking their cheeks can make them feel more at home with you. An experiment involving cats and their owner's scents found that cats are more relaxed and spend more time in areas where their owner's scent is present. This shows that our scent can have a calming effect on them, reinforcing the idea that sharing scents is a powerful tool in building trust. Another fascinating aspect is how therapy cats adjust to hospital environments. These cats are often given blankets or toys that carry their scent to help them feel secure in unfamiliar settings. And despite all the complex scent communication going on, sometimes your cat is just checking you out to see if you've brought home any interesting smells on your clothes. It's their way of catching up on the day's gossip. Sound. When it comes to bonding with your cat, the sounds you make can play a huge role. Let's start with the basics. Cats prefer a calm and soothing environment, and your voice can contribute to this. 
Speaking to them, as well as other family members, in soft, gentle tones can help them feel more at ease around you. Interestingly, cats can recognize their owner's voice, but they often choose to ignore it. Researchers found that cats react more to the sound of their owner's voice than to strangers, but their way of showing it is pretty subtle. Did you know that cats respond more to high-pitched voices? It's all about the frequency. Cats' ears are tuned to hear higher frequencies better, which is why many cat owners find themselves instinctively speaking in a higher pitch, or what we often call baby talk, which is actually more effective in grabbing their attention. Territory. Introducing a new member to your household, be it a human or another pet, is a big deal in the cat world. Cats are creatures of habit, and their territory is sacred to them. So, when someone new comes into the picture, it's like their whole world is getting rearranged. But there's a way to make this transition smooth for everyone involved. The key is slow and steady. As we've already discussed, for cats, the scent is everything. So, when you're planning to introduce a new pet or your friend is coming over, start with something as simple as scent swapping. This could mean exchanging items of clothes, blankets, or toys between the guest and your cat. It's like giving them a sneak peek of each other before the big meeting. This method helps reduce stress and lets your cat know there's nothing to fear. Now, when it's time for the actual introduction, keep things calm and controlled. Use a separate room if possible. This gives your cat and the new member a chance to hear and smell each other without direct contact. Gradually increase their exposure to each other, always supervising their interactions. In some households, cats and other pets establish what's known as territorial contracts. It might sound like a legal agreement, but it's more about mutual understanding. For example, one pet may claim the sunny spot by the window in the morning, while another has dibs on the couch in the afternoon. These arrangements help maintain peace and prevent conflicts over shared spaces. Did you know that cats' disputes over territory are often silent? They use subtle signs like blocking pathways or staring to communicate their displeasure. It's their way of saying, this is my spot, without resorting to meows or hisses. Resources. So let's get back to the basics. Food, water, and yes, the litter box. Did you know that cats have a natural instinct to avoid water that's too close to their food source? In the wild, close proximity could mean contaminated water. So, try placing their water bowl a good distance away from their food. We'll guarantee you'll notice how much more water your kitty will start to drink. Now, onto the subject everyone loves. The litter box. A quiet, accessible location tells your cat they have a safe place to do their business. Privacy matters to them, much like it does to us. And a dirty litter box will make your cat feel vulnerable, not to mention it might lead them to find less ideal places to relieve themselves. In your cat's eyes, a dirty litter box means a predator can find them by their scent. That's why they need to stay away from it, for their own safety. Cats have an incredibly sharp memory when it comes to bad experiences. These negative encounters can do more than just scare them in the moment. The real concern lies in the lasting impact these experiences can have on their trust and connection with you. So check out this video to find out about 10 things a cat will never forget. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline loving community.